Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Brittany Smith, and I am the Metadata Specialist at Himmelfarb Library. Today, we will just discuss copyright basics, author rights, and how to protect your author rights when entering a publishing agreement. Let's get started. To begin this lecture, we will first look at copyright laws in the United States. Then we will look at the rights granted to authors of copyrighted materials. We will also look at author rights in relation to scholarly publishing and publishing agreements. And we will end this presentation by looking at two resources that may be useful when negotiating copyright agreements with publishers and journals. At a basic level, copyright protects authors or creators in the works that they create. For a work to fall under copyright protection, it must be both original and fixed. An original work is one that is independently created by a human being and does not replicate another work. A fixed work has been captured in some manner, for example, in a word processing program or in a notebook or with a camera. Once the work is fixed, it automatically becomes protected by copyright laws. Authors may seek additional protection by reg registering their works with the U.S. Copyright Office, though this is not a requirement for copyright protection. Copyright protection lasts for the duration of the author's life plus an additional 70 years. Once this ends, the work becomes part of the public domain and may be used by other people without permission from the original author or owner of the copyright. There are limited exceptions to copyright. For example, the Fair Use doc Doctrine allows people to use copyrighted works without permission from the owner if it is being used for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly reports. Additionally, libraries and archives are also granted some exceptions to use copyright materials without the owner's permission. Outside of the exceptions established by law and maintained by the Copyright Office, people must seek permission or an agreement before using copyrighted materials. Last, most works as defined by the Copyright Office automatically are legally protected, but there are some works such as ideas or short phrases which fall outside the bounds of current copyright laws. Authors or the owners of the copyright are granted exclusive rights to the work. These rights include the right to reproduce the work, to create derivatives based on the original work, distribution rights, the ability to publicly perform the work, and the ability to display the work. Authors may enter an agreement with publishers or journals and allow these outlets to use the work. For example, when publishing a research article, a journal may seek the right to reproduce and distribute the article. While this will allow a researcher's work to reach a wide audience, some agreements may limit the researcher's ability to share their work in a classroom with their colleagues or store it in an, in an institutional repository. Before signing a publishing agreement, it is important to carefully review the contract and understand how it will affect the copyright or your rights as the original author. Himmelfarb Library's Copyright Guide is a helpful resource to learn more about copyright, publishing agreements, and author rights. There are also resources listed near the end of this presentation, which provide additional in-depth explanations about the materials covered here. As an author, you have the ability to negotiate with publishers and retain certain rights to your work. Before submitting your research article, research the target publisher in Sherpa, Sherpa Vermeo. This website collects information about publishers and journals, such as their open access policy, embargo requirements, and direct links to the journal's webpage. Sherpa Romeo informs researchers about the practices of, of journals, allowing researchers to select the journal that works best for their needs. Before signing a publishing agreement, researchers may negotiate to retain certain control of their works. Sparks author, author addendum is a form that may be attached to the publishing agreement to negotiate the author's rights to use the work after publication. Both Sherpa Romeo and the Spark Author Addendum are essential tools for authors who pursue publication, but also want to, to distribute their work through their professional networks. Copyright protects authors and works from unauthorized access or use by others. Works that receive copyright protection must be original and fixed, and these protections are automatically granted. As the author of a work, you are granted exclusive rights, which may be licensed to others through an agreement. 
Before signing such an agreement, it is vital to review the document and negotiate changes so you may still use the work or share it without violating the copyright. Thank you for taking the time to listen to copyright, author rights, and contract agreements. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then visit our video library where you will also find the associated slides for this presentation. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, please contact me at bsmith91 at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.